Today, we're looking at this. We're looking at the Logitech MX Master 3S. This is a wireless mouse. Let's open it up. Okay, so inside we have another box, and then we'll just open it up like that. And there is our mouse packaged just inside. And we have our Logi dongle. What else do we have in here, if anything? We also get a bit of a brochure about other Logitech products. We have a manual. And we have a USB-C to type A cable, which I will add to the mountain of these that I already have. Okie dokie. So this is the mouse. Um, let's get it set up and take a closer look. Oh, it also appears we have a bit of uh, protective covering on the bottom of the mouse. We'll just peel that off. There we go. Okay, so it seems there's a switch here, and when you turn it on, uh, it will either go into Bluetooth or Logitech Bolt. So there are two modes here, and there is no toggle between them. It's just off or on. Uh, and then I assume if it detects Bluetooth, it will connect to Bluetooth, and if it sees the Logitech Bolt, uh, it will connect via this. So this is the Logitech dongle. It is optional. Um, I plan on using this with Bluetooth, but we will look at both. Okay, so it's been a few weeks and I've been using this as my daily driver mouse at work and here are my thoughts. Overall, it's a very comfortable and ergonomic mouse. Uh, I really don't have any major gripes or complaints with it. So let's go uh, through a feature breakdown. First things first, you got left, right, middle click. You also have this wheel here. This is an infinity scroll, so if you do that, it'll just keep spinning. Now there is a middle button here, and basically that doesn't stop the infinity scroll, but it adds a bit of a, a bumping texture to it. So I actually prefer that, but you can still, you know, make it spin indefinitely, but you get that nice little bumpy texture feel. There is a side scroll here. This is not a button, it is just a scroll. There are two buttons here. By default, these are browser back and forth. Um, they're fully customizable though through the Logi Options app. Uh, there's also a button here. Now, we'll show this a bit later. Um, by default, this, this doesn't do anything, but if you have the Logi Options app installed, you can uh, do gestures, say on Mac OS, and also do something, so we'll show that. On the back, you have an on and off. You also have the ability to switch to devices. You can have up to three, with one of them optionally being a Logi Bolt adapter device. You can only have one using the Logi Bolt adapter. I'm personally not a huge fan of the Logi Bolt adapter. I guess you could leave it plugged into, say, a desktop computer, um, but I personally got this mouse for Bluetooth. Another minor nitpick with the Logi Bolt adapter I have is there's nowhere to store it. A lot of other mice, for example, have the ability to say open up the top or the bottom and stick these kind of dongles inside. With this, that's not the case. So you'll need to keep this somewhere safe if you don't plan on using it with the mouse. Now that that's out of the way, let's take a quick look at the Logi Options software. Good evening. We're in the Logi Options app now, so we can click on a picture of our mouse and we can see all the customizations. So by default, we can change every button and thing on this mouse. We can change what the middle click does. We can even change this, this shift wheel mode button, which changes it from the nice bumpy to smooth mode, is software as well. So you can just have it always be bumpy or smooth, but make this do something else. In addition, we have the ability to change what the scroll wheel does, what the browser back and front buttons do. And of course, we have this button here. This is the navigation thumb button. By default, if we click on that, it is a navigation system. If we push the button, it's mission control. If we move up, it's also mission control. If we move down, it's expose. If we move left, it changes the screen. And if we move right, it does the other way. We have a few other settings we can change. So if we go to point and scroll, we can change the scroll wheel speed. You can also change what the button does. Apparently it also has this smart shift function. So if we do this, right, I can feel it nice and bumpy, but if we start moving fast, it automatically switches to smooth scrolling. There's a sensitivity here, or you can turn it off if you don't like that. We can also adjust the pointer speed, and apparently there is an extended range for 8K DPI. We can also change the settings for the thumb wheel button sensitivity. We also have the easy switch system, which allows us to see what devices we have. So we have my MacBook Pro using the Bolt receiver, we have my iPad, and we have my MacBook Pro with Bluetooth, which is how we're using it right now. And again, that is the button on the bottom. There's also a thing called Logi Flow. I'm not going to look at this, but apparently it seems to let you control 
multiple devices with one mouse. And that about wraps it up for the Logi Options Plus app. Now you might wonder if you have the Logitech G Hub app installed, can I use that? No, for whatever reason, this device only works with the Logi Options app, which is a bit of a shame because all my other Logitech devices are supported with the Logitech G Hub app. This is the only one that isn't, and some devices are supported by both, which is just kind of weird. And that about wraps it up for my review of the MX Master 3S mouse from Logitech. Overall, I really like this mouse, and this mouse has won its place as my travel mouse, so I'll definitely carry this with me when I go traveling. Um, it is nice and heavy, which I do like, but I don't think it's a great gaming mouse, so it's gonna stick to just office tasks. Uh, and portability. If you are interested in picking one of these up, there is a, an affiliate link in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.